I think it's very exciting that they have legalised a, a full range of the harm reduction alternatives to smoking. So that that is quite unusual, really. I mean, I think Iceland have that and some other countries. Not Not all the countries that have adopted a tobacco harm reduction approach and incorporated in, into the business as usual tobacco control program like New Zealand and the UK uh, have regulated the full range. But where the full range is available, then people have more options, uh, you know, different strokes for different folks. And it doesn't leave people out or behind, for example, if vaping is is not to somebody's liking, uh, then they have a choice, they have another option. So in New Zealand, for instance, the government regulated vaping and also heated tobacco products. However, advertising of tobacco products is banned, so very few people in New Zealand know about the heated tobacco product. So vaping is the main one that people in New Zealand know about, and that has accounted for most of our rapid decline in smoking prevalence. I would expect, and it will be exciting to watch what happens in uh, Czechia with this full range available, and a very important uh, case story um, to follow, I think.